Hello my friends! Today I'm going to show you a technique that I don't know the name of, but we're going to figure it out. And here's some of the supplies I'm going to be using today. This is not everything, but I've got my tips here. I've got a dappin dish, dotting tool, brush, some stampers, a scraper, some cotton cleanup stuff, acetone, and some plates. I'm going to be using this plate today. This is FG141. If you need the link to this, it's from AliExpress. Just leave a comment and I will put the link for you. Some other plates you could use if you don't have this one. We've got Beauty Big Bang XL001. And also this, um, oh gosh, who is this? This is You Pretty Go, Juice 1 and Juice 2. So these are layered, but you could also use that. Anyway, just some other options for you. Any kind of plate that has big fruit images would be perfect. The first thing I'm going to do is paint my tips white. If your tips are already white, then great. This white does not have to be perfect. I'm just going to put one coat because this is all going to be covered up, but I just want a nice background for my colors where the colors will really pop on top of that white. If I don't put the white down and I just have this translucent nails, the color is just going to be a little more washed out. So I always, not always, I usually like to start with white. I'm going to be using the blackberries first and I'm just going to pick this up in white. And I'm going to stamp the white over the white. So you should still be able to see it. Don't forget, you also need a lint roller or some tape or whatever you like to use. I've got a makeup sponge. And I picked out some blackberry-ish colors here. I'm gonna blend all the colors together so it looks more like natural light is hitting the berries versus just having them one color, like a coloring book. So I've got Eggplant, Charmed, Hail Santa, and Bluebell. I'm also gonna add a little touch of white. So I'm gonna dab on these colors. Like this. Maybe just a speck of white. Let me let that soak in just a little. And then I'm going to dab it on top of where my blackberry outlines are. I'm going to try to get some of that color variation on there. I think that looks pretty good. I think it could use maybe a little bit more white. Kind of mush that up. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. I don't want the outline to be black. I want it to be a little softer than that. So this is Delirium. Just see how it looks. I like it. I'm gonna color the leaves. This is uh, LA Colors Retrograde. This is Sally Hansen Scram, and this is Pacifica Plant Magic um, Green Goddess. These are really similar. I think I'm just gonna use one of them, but these, if you have one, then great. Got a palette. And I picked some kind of shimmery polishes for this just to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to put the colors side by side. And then I'm just kind of going to blend them. These colors are pretty similar, so maybe I'll add a little darker color here. Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna put a darker color behind it and kind of make it pop a little bit more. This is a bit darker. This is a um, Tropic Talks by Maybelline. This comes from the, the Dollar General, Dollar Store. Okay, so you can cut, since this polish is like pretty sheer, I'm just going to add the black details on part of the background and then that'll give it like even more of a shadow look. I think that's everything. Beautiful. Okay, so if I stamp this on here right now, it's just gonna look bad. So I need to do my one of my favorite techniques, which is the inverse reverse stamping. This is purple and green. And so I'm thinking maybe like a nice soft orange or something warm. When you're doing color combination, when you're doing palettes, if, it's good to start with like three colors and pick either two warms and a cool or two cools and a warm. And that could be fun. It's pretty bright. Let's go for it. You could also blend colors in this background too. I could take a lighter or darker orange here, yellow, and kind of mix it together. But I think just because I want to highlight the berries, I'm going to make this a solid color. It's actually the morning time right now. I usually do this at, at night or in the evening. My husband volunteers for search and rescue and he is out training today. So I've got the place to myself. Well, me and Sam, of course. So this is a perfect time to do some nail art for you guys. I know it's been a minute. I've been a little ill and it's nothing new, but just, yeah, I've been pretty under the weather and the last couple of videos I did didn't really perform very well and it was a little demotivating, <laughs> but I need to remember why I'm doing this. It's not because I um, have any particular goals about viewership or anything, but my, uh, my goal is to have fun and to share techniques and art with you and hopefully maybe be a little entertaining in the process. Looks like I got a little... I got a little spot on my berry here. Somebody on Instagram was making fun of me for going outside the lines. <laughs> well, at least I'm doing something. Well, that kind of made it worse, but that's okay. <laughs> and I think it needs glitter. I always forget glitter, but look, I remembered. So I'm gonna put some glitter. This is super pretty. I'm wondering if it'll, this is metamorphosis. I'm wondering if it'll just swallow up all this, this ombre that I've got here going on here. No, no, I think it looks good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Put more on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks beautiful. Okay, that's not dry, but it's tacky, which is what I want. And, um... I don't need to worry about my guidelines, um, the white guidelines that we put down, just because we kind of covered the whole thing, and it was just it was just a guide. So let me stamp this. I 
Wow. Oh, I just know the top coat is going to make this so beautiful. Get some of this stuff off the edge so it doesn't fold back up on top of my design. And I can't wait. I got to top coat it. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I like it a lot. All right, let's do another one. I'm thinking I'll do these oranges with a purple background. These lines are still wet. I'm going to put them like that. Okay, so this is Sunrise, Maui Gold, and Papaya. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the white. I'm going to use this, this uh, same sponge, put on some beautiful orange on here, some yellow, a little bit, whoops, that's a lot of white. Put some white, there we go, and let it just kind of soak in a little so I'm not, so the colors aren't like, bam, you know, I just want them to be a little more subtle. So I've got my orange here. That's pretty lemony looking. I don't want it to be a lemon. I want it to be an orange. Okay, that's better. And I also have these slices here. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. This is Ripple. It's another Maniology topper. It has some warm colored flakies in here. I'm thinking that'll be good with the orange, the orange oranges. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, we'll put that aside so it can dry. Make these peels a little different than the inside because the peels are a little are a little like more uniform in color but I am gonna mix just a little bit I'm going for realism today <laughs> and honestly this should probably have some white in it you know what? I'm thinking I'm unnecessarily complicating things. Let's just do it like this. Because, you know, the orange is, the peel has that pith on the inside, that white pith. It's really bitter. Uh, but I'm not going to mess with it. Not today. When I first started making these videos, I think people really liked the long ones, like the hour long ones. But as time goes on, it seems like those are not popular anymore. So, um, or like the moment of Zen ones. So I was calling them stamp along. Um, the ones that are kind of chit chatty and loose where I don't really have a plan. And I updated my playlists on my channel so you can find those so that's why they're called something different 
Um, but I don't know, they're just not doing as, as well. I think people prefer the actual tutorials. This is kind of a hybrid because I'm doing a tutorial, but I don't know. Like I don't really have a direction. <laughs> just doing it. I'm gonna just stick with the same color leaves, I think, for just for consistency. It'll be more cohesive, the whole mini. We actually had a tornado the other day, which is crazy because this is just like a little mountain town. It doesn't really happen, you know? I mean, there's been some crazy tornadoes and stuff all over the U.S., but I didn't think they would show up here. So nothing got too damaged, but some people's houses got smushed by trees. It's pretty crazy. Well, the weather has gone so unpredictable. Oh, in the northern lights were last night because of that solar flare. And I missed it. <laughs> I set an alarm for tonight, so hopefully I'll hopefully they'll come out again tonight cuz oh my gosh. When I lived in Iceland, I only saw the northern lights like two times. I lived there for like nine months. There was this one time I saw them in a little town called Vik, which is where I was living. And, um, you know, when you see the Northern Lights on on video and on, on a photo, they always look like they move so slow, like they're kind of static. But when I saw them in Vik, they, they looked like you could just reach up and touch them. They looked like they were so close and they were fast. They just whipped around. I mean, I... I imagine, you know, being somebody living in, you know, prehistoric times or anything and just must have been really surreal. I mean, it's surreal now knowing what they are. And these flowers are white. Okay, so I gave Sam like a treat in a, like he had to forage for it and it's, it was some good stuff and uh, he starts making that Wah! sound, like that Mickey Mouse sound after he eats something really tasty and he'll go on forever. It's his Yelp review. Give it 10 million Yelps. Oh, how cool. I'm gonna do the background purple. I want it to kind of match these berries. I think this is too blue. This is about right, but it's really sheer. This is also very sheer. Maybe it'll work. This is stellar. See where we're at here. Okay. Well, I don't know. The purple looks okay. Okay, so I missed recording the stamp on this very unfortunately, um, but I could still see my guidelines a little bit, so I just kind of put it down there, roughly on top of where they were, and I added these white. And I added these white details on the pith, which I'm glad I did. I think it really makes a difference. And with the top coat, you can really see it pop. So we're on a roll here with the fruit. Okay, I wanna do these gooseberries. I think, I think they're gooseberries. We don't really have these in America. So 
one's going to be mostly berries. And I think gooseberries are sort of green. Okay, I have trickster, honeydew, and nectar. I don't know why, but something's telling me to put a little bit of like pink or peach or something in there. Maybe that's wrong. Definitely needs more yellow and white. I'm not too confident how this is looking. Okay, I think it's too yellow. I'm not mad about the pink. That looks pretty okay, actually. I'm gonna add a little more green. Okay, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what they look like and I refuse to Google it. So uh, we're gonna go with this. <laughs> Let me add a couple little more of these dark spots. I like that. I'm, I'm not really liking how uniform the colors look. I'm going to add a little more of this. Okay, yeah, I think I like that better. See how much this I actually got to paint. Uh, like none of that. <laughs> That's okay. All right, what background color? Hmm. That's tough. We do need glitter though. This is LA Colors Sunbeam. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, it makes sense to me to do this background purple as well, the same one as the oranges. Okay, this all looks pretty dry. Ooh, awesome. Maybe more yellow than gooseberries are supposed to be. I'm not really sure. Ooh, that looks so cool. I'm loving our fruit salad. It's pretty bodacious. Okay, for this last nail is really tiny, but I think I'm going to do these little jars. I don't know. That just seems right. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to paint my purple right on the background here because I don't want to do the inverse reverse stamping. I just want a regular re reverse stamp because that will be much easier. So in here are some blackberry preserves. To make them nice and glittery. Perfect.
Oh yeah, the apples look really good. I'm coloring the jar lids different colors so it looks like the light is hitting them a little bit different. And I know these are strawberries, but they're gonna be pink. I just don't want to start introducing new colors at this point. It doesn't make sense. It'll just look out of place. Let's see, I'm coloring way more than I need to here, I think. Okay. We have green, orange, and the other lid should be purple. I'm kind of wondering if I should paint the shelves. I think I'll do them purple, like a darker purple. The sets I've been doing lately don't really show the thumb like at all. So like the new pose that I'm using. So I'm not even gonna decorate this thumb, but I am gonna paint it the same color. This is sticky base coat. I got a little black spot on my nail, but that's okay, because I'll cover it up. Okay, I think this is dry, and I want my blue my blackberries to show up for sure. Oh, how cute. I love the little like sparkles on the blackberries. That's really sweet. So here's how they turned out. I'm going to put a matte coat on them. But I think they look pretty cool. They're pretty funky and colorful. It's very summery. I know it's still spring, but get your summer designs started now and be ready here's what it looks like finished so that's it for today just a nice chill fruit salad kind of day hope, hope you all have a good weekend and I just want to throw it out there. I have reached some monetization milestones with this channel and I'm eligible for things like super likes and, um, you know, I don't, I really don't like for people to spend money they don't have, but if you have some money that's burning a hole in your pocket, um, and you like these videos, consider sending me a super thanks or super like or whatever it's called. But if not, please don't feel weird about it at all. I, you know, just do this for fun. And it's not my goal to get rich off of this or anything. I just really love nail stamping and I want everybody in the world to love nail stamping as much as I do. Uh, can you imagine? All right, y'all. Well, thank you for hanging out with me again today. And until next time, bye.